Andre here from SWL and I'm faced with a little bit of a dilemma tonight. I'm leaving on a business trip to Cape Town tomorrow, only two days. I will be by the seaside. I'm expecting to do some really good DXing there. I'm particularly interested in seeing what I can catch from the Western Hemisphere because I will be staying in an area in Cape Town that faces across the Atlantic Ocean towards Brazil. So I'm hoping to be able to pick up some medium wave and even some of those Brazilian shortwave stations. That's my main aim when I have a little bit of time to take off during my congress that I'm attending to do DXing. So the dilemma is which radio to take with me. Obviously I'm constrained by airline luggage rules. I'm taking only hand baggage. I do have some stuff that I have to take with me like my my work clothes, my laptop, you know, so my bag is already quite full. I can probably take at most two, maybe three of my smaller radios. Obviously these big ones, my Barlow Wadley and the Kenwood R1000 and that Sony ICFJ40 there at the back, they've been eliminated anyway because they are too big. So we are talking about these little portables here. Now all of these, each and every one, has something special, even that Retic is there. If you add a little bit of wire to it, the shortwave reception is excellent and it's got the recording function, which is useful. Eaton Elite Traveler, Traveler in the name, it's made for traveling, nice and compact. This is my favorite medium wave radio, the Texan ICR110, together with the XH Data D808, which we have here medium wave it's a decision between these two but what bothers me is that uh, both of these are quite big radios then i'd also like to maybe take a little true analog with me so i think that decision has been made that's going to be my texan r808 it's the grundig pe 100 mini world receiver this is the Sun version of that radio. As you can see the band coverage is not very wide. It goes from 16 meters up to 49 meters. So this is not going to help me much for those Brazilian shortwave stations. They're mostly in the 60 meter band. But I like this radio. It's very very good. It's got really nice reception. It's very small. So I'm thinking I will just put this one literally in my pocket. It is a pocket radio. Take it with me on the plane. And I can take two more, I think, but two small radios that I can put in my hand luggage. And this is where it's getting difficult for me. I think I've also made up my mind that I will take this one, the XH Data D219. Excellent radio. DSP based analog, but you know, you've seen some of my reviews, you've seen some of the catches I've had with this radio. Terrific radio. I feel very comfortable taking this one, and I'm sure if there's a signal, there in Cape Town that I don't pick up here, this one is going to pick it up. So I'm happy to take this one. So that means the ones that I've definitely decided I will take are the Texan R808 and the XH Data D219. These two. Quite small, no problem with packing. But now I'm really, really struggling with making a decision between the XH Data D808. I've eliminated the ICR110. It's a very good AM radio, but it's a little bit too big. So this one stays behind. And for me now, it is about the XH Data D808 or the Texan PL368. And this is where it gets very difficult for me. I think both of these are excellent radios. The D808 obviously has airband, which the Texan doesn't have. They both have single sideband. I think in terms of reception sensitivity, this little Texan, in my opinion, just about beats the XH data. When I do ETM scans on this Texan, I'm always amazed. It's not very good on medium wave, though. Although when you put the little external medium wave antenna there at the top, it does work fairly well. The XH data D808 on the other hand, very good on short wave, but really excellent on medium wave. I've had some amazing catches there. I have, however, I think, made up my mind that I will take this one, the PL368. For the shortwave catches that I'm hoping I will get, 
those Brazilian shortwave stations. This one will get them. If they are there, it will get them. I know, for sure. And I'm just hoping that with its little medium wave antenna, I might be able to pick up some interesting transatlantic medium wave signals. This one, I think, is just a little bit too big for my bag. So I'm going to settle for these three very small radios, easy to pack, and I think each one of them will serve me well on my very short little trip, but hopefully I will have some nice catches there.